What's up guys, this is 1982 P. Jefferson Nickel at circulated condition, most likely EF45. On of course we see sharply detailed motifs of Jefferson bus nowhere seen on high points, but when it comes to preservation and eye appeal, surfaces display numerous abrasions, but they are mostly of insignificant sizes. Rims show several nicks, larger one near the 10 o'clock. Also by the letter T, small pocket of olive green, hazel brown hues catch the eyes. Reverse exhibits common appealing for circulated Jefferson nickel reverse. Some details of Monticello building are weakly struck, including steps which are totally flat. So a circulated grade like these, coin will be worth just face value as over 292 million nickels were struck and they are pretty common. Even in low uncirculated grades, it can still be picked from circulation. This issue wasn't struck too well, so examples in MS65 and higher are scarce. With the full steps designation, this issue is really scarce in MS65 full steps and in MS66 full steps. It's much scarcer with few examples known. This is extremely rare. Piece at mid state 66 plus with 6 full steps on reverse. Sold for $5,000 in an eBay auction. Denver variants are also valuable at mid stage 66 with full steps. For instance, this 1982D nickel at mentioned grade was sold for $3,600 at Stacks Powers. Overstruck errors also make good money. This is 1982P nickel struck on a brass set. Grade at mid stage 65 read by NGC. The lower half of nickel date and the meat mark are present. The scent date is effaced by the letter strike except for the one visible above the M in Monticello. Columns from the Lincoln's Memorial are where Jefferson's ear should be. A lustrous gem with rose red, orange, gold and aqua color. Sold on January 7, 2011 for $1265 at Heritage Auctions.